Oh yes, hello people. We are opening on a very good note this week. Akira Scale have literally just sent me an email saying that my MHA wagons are being dispatched. Brilliant. Modern image stuff at its finest. Super, super, super excited about that. Hopefully anyone else out there who's ordered theirs will also get theirs pretty soon as well. I'm looking forward to doing a direct comparison between these ones and the homey ones that I have already in my fleet of rolling stock. Anyway, without further ado, let's continue. We've also had some uh, bad-ish news, um, depending to be from Acura Scale, saying that their Class 37s they had due for release now have sadly been put back a little bit to January, February, March and April, I think depending on which batch you initially ordered. So my 37, I think it was Stephen Middlemore I ordered, possibly. I don't know when that's coming. It might be March-ish, so there we are. Not too disappointed though, because I would rather it be kept back just a few more months, because to wait this long, about a few more months won't really hurt. If it makes that product just a little bit better, when it does come to market, and everyone wins, tell me. If the price isn't going up, it's far in the way, so that's even better. So, Fury Scale, thanks for keeping everyone in the loop. Thanks for not lying to us and deceiving us. So, we're looking forward to that. I know I certainly am. In the meantime, I'm waiting for my other wagons to come. Hopefully that'll be soon. Okay, let's crack on. So, just a brief interlude here for a second. I've been playing with the KD couplings again uh, since I installed the slimline um, points from Pico. Obviously, they're not nowhere near as sharp an angle. I think these are 12 degrees as opposed to 22 degrees, which you get on the standard Pico points, which are over there. So the angle is a lot, a lot less steep. And I find that the KDs actually work rather well on less steep angles. So for future future projects and certainly for this old little class 25 here sorry 24 one should i say okay these might be going forward so watch this space that said i had no kd couplings available other than the two i had before and the ones from the curious scale wagons i also had two gearbox type ones left over but i had no way to mount them so what i did was is i took an nem pocket filled it with blue tack gently cut the end off of the uh, the KD coupler, gently inserted it to make a little gap, filled that gap with super glue, shoved it back in, let it dry, and now I've got an NEM KD coupler. It doesn't flex as much as the proper ones do, but it was, you know, pennies to make an adapter, it's pretty good. So I'm just going to test this on the little water wagon I've got over there and see if it works. So it fits in. The only issue is the slight height difference, a slight one which is completely fixable with um, fine adjustments and what have you. That goes on there, and you see it's just a little bit too low on the uh, on this side here because the pockets do droop quite a lot. Really happy with how I weathered that. So anyway, that's going to go on, and that, you'll notice that's not got any couplings on that side. And that's for a very good reason. Right folks, I know you probably can't see me that well, so lucky you. We're going to have a look at making an end of train lamp. Now, thankfully DCC concepts make all these nice little bits and pieces in this little kit to make things a lot easier. That is so, so tiny. I don't even know if the camera's going to focus on that, but it's a little tiny working end of train lamp. The wheels have now got the little springs on them which pick up power so one picks up power from one rail one from the other this is the little tiny module which does it i'm going to have mine connected straight to the power so it doesn't have to connect to the little reed switch which turns it on and off so it'll be on all the time all i've done is get rid of the white wire and connect the two the so the yellow and the purple wires together permanently we're going to ride the red and the black wires to the axles of the wheels and the orange and grey wires to the back end of the 
and the trail lamps. The longer of the two wires coming from there, the trail lamp is a positive. So that's uh, something to go off. And this little switch here just controls how fast the uh, unit flashes. So we're going to do it to the Acura Scale MDV or the Genic Kirk Special as it is. You can just, just about see the remnants of the graffiti on there. Uh, I've made a little hole in the just see it there, a little hole in the base of the unit so I can feed the wires through. The chip's going to sit in there, out of the way, and then a little load is going to go over it to hide it. Okey dokey, let's see if I can make this work. Put a very small hole in the wagon body at the back there, and I'm just now feeding through the, uh, the wiring. There we go for the, uh, yeah, the train lamp. Once that's through, I'm going to put the little uh, little peg in place, glue it in, and then I can wire it up. Right, yeah, so that's in there now. You can just see how it comes through the back end there, hopefully. It's not the best in the world at the minute. There we go, it's a bit better. So hopefully you can see how it now goes through there. So all the stuff to do is put the chip in, feed the wires through, Sold with these contacts, not forgetting to put a resistor on there, otherwise, the LED will just blow. So, we've got a little tiny resistor which comes with the pack as well. So, if we get that all wired in, there we go. There we go. Once I get a bit of weight in the wagon to make sure the power is constant, that should stay on. Frustrating that it does that. There we go. As I say, just needs a really positive contact with the track. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna consider that done and dusted. Excellent. Oh, again, folks, it is now Friday evening, and we are making a start on getting the aggregate yard in a bit of a better shape. As you can see, I've lifted the track. Left the point in because I'm going to put a a new point on there. You probably can't see it from that angle. So, but yeah, I'm going to put one of the nice new, I think a bullhead points on there. That's been lifted up as well, as you can see there. So that's just been like a truncated old-fashioned point. That's fine. That's still there. So I now to scrape all the scenery up from this, ready for when I put the new the new track on there. Okay. So that's tonight's job, and then hopefully on Tuesday I can get some expanding foam, make some hills and finally put a pin in this whole section. Because oh, I am flaming sick of it. Okay, we have the shaky hand cam back, so I can show you what's been going on. That point is now out, so I can now get, come on, there we are, that'll do. Now I've got the new point up be a lot shallower in terms of how it comes in hopefully the mount the mountain hill thing will go in there the retaining wall for the street scene in there i can then resurface all of this and i'm going to use that top coat stuff because it's really nice gives a good color get the track in go the track down ballast the track half standing etc etc this bit now is a bit more spaced out. I've removed that little spur there, so I'm going to dress this up, make this part of the yard, and hopefully add a bit more to the cement factory element, if you will, of cement supplier of this little uh, little industrial yard. Okay, folks, it is now Sunday. Sunday, bloody Sunday. And I've actually got some time off work, so I'm actually now going to... I've very loosely stuck this in place. <laughs> not structurally sound at all but that's fine because we're going to make some landscape now and we're going to do it with this it's expanding form i've said this done a few times i'm going to get a little bit of card so i can encourage it into certain areas as we apply it then once it's set we can shape it shave it bend it paint it fix it work it do it all that lot over the song goes. Okay, let's have a go at this. Ooh. 
Right, <laughs> that's about uh, about it. I realise that's going to do probably double in size, so there's going to be a lot of cutting needed on this when it's done. But it's actually creating a nice. Let's do this with it. I can actually just as we as it's starting to set, make it look more like a a natural landscape if I can. I don't know how well this is going to work. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, what do you mean? Okay, right. We'll call that about no. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, 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 for fuck's sake. Oh, dear me. There we go. We'll see how this goes. Right, folks, that's it for this week. You can see now I've got the back scene in place. Well, the back scene. I've got the uh, street scene in place. I've also got the form... Um, pull out section in place. It's now, I think we're going to have a little farm on there, the back end of a farm. We've got a little farmhouse in place, that should give us an idea. So, today's mission is going to be to paint that up and then hopefully get some scenics on it. And we'll see more of that next week. So, for the time being, that's it for this week regarding that. So, I'm really happy with the, um, the train lamps from Akira Scale. A little bit of setup involved, but ultimately, they are a nice little addition. And if you've got the wagon space to spare, that's what you can do. Hopefully you can see that this time. Hopefully not holding it too high, but you see all I've done there is just hide it away with a little bit of electrical tape. What would improve the running of this is either using the blade type pickups underneath the wagon. I've used the spring type ones with their wheels, which work fine, but bear in mind there's only one pickup for that side and that side. If you were to use blade pickups, you'd get one from each wheel, each side, so there'd be four pickups, which would make it a lot more reliable. For it does work, what you can do is fit a little capacitor inside there, or even better, get a really cheap decoder and wire in a stay alive to that. And then you can actually have the light on or off when you wanted through DCC control. So that might be something I'll look at doing in the near future as part of the upgrade to this wagon. Oh, with that being said, um, that's it for this week. I will be at Worley uh, Model Railway Show in November. Uh, so come along and say hello. I'll be able to go around. You can't exactly miss me. So if you want to come and have a fight or say hello to me, shake my hand, whatever, please feel free. And I will see you all next week. Cheers now. Bye-bye.